most recruiters are out there bouncing 50 recs. When you bucket the recs, you still got about 35. Now, what I mean by that is if you got 50 recs, you probably got two or three that are basically the same darn thing. Uh, so you can bucket them. But you still got 35. Now, if we do some simple logic, and we say you have a four to one interview to offer ratio, that means your multiplier is four. That means your tech screener, your tech guy that's gonna validate if they really know job or not, has to talk to 16 people to get down to that four. That means you as a recruiter have to talk to 16 times four is 64 people. That means if you get one out of four people you email decide they're interested, that means you have to get almost 300 people. If you can find five to 10 good people in an hour, that means to get to 300 people, that's 30 hours of your life. When are you going to talk to people? It takes a half an hour on average. And you've got to talk to 64 people. That means 32 hours. So 32 and 30, 62 hours can't be done in a normal work week. The only way to handle it is to be organized. Have a plan. So project management is a simple way to do it. Make sure you have, you, you, you have your plan. And the life cycle I pointed out is basically the plan. Research, source, download, scrape, whatever way you want to get the, get the source people out of there, find contact information, upload contact. That's the step-by-step -step process. Manage the process, and each rec is a project. That's how simple it can be. You have a plan. When I worked at Microsoft, I had a plan. Okay, I've got this many recs. Okay, I'm going to spend half an hour sourcing on each rec on Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to do it. I want to get 10 people for each rec. As soon as I get 10 people, I'm moving to a new rec. What happens is when people start sourcing, they get so, okay, I'm looking for a job developer. I'm there. Boom, boom, oh my God, I just spent five hours for a job developer, and I have nobody for my project management, my product management, my this, my that, my this, my that. Have a plan. Okay, I've got four hours to source. I'm going to get five people for each rep. I got my, uh, one, oh, wow, five. That's my five data analysts. Move, move on, Java. Five Java, move on, project manager. Yep, move on. You got to have a plan and run it like a project. So as soon as I get my five people for this, it goes into that source folder. That part of the project is done for that rep. Boom, boom. Next, I have to, val I have to I've already downloaded. I've already got contact information because I'm looking at resumes. So now I have to start uploading into my ATS. That can all be done at once quickly for all the projects at once. The next step is I have to outreach. Well, each outreach is going to be a little different because you can't sit there and saying, hey, I'm looking for a job developer to a data analyst. Uh, they're going to be like, what the blue blazes are you talking about? Um, and I'm being simplistic with my emailing. That's not what I email people. So then you're now you're in the communication subfolder of a particular project, say job developer is the project, now you're in the communication. So you create your email, you send it out to your five people. Then you move to the next project, but you're still in the same category of, of action. You're still in the same action. So you have your projects and you have your actions that, that go with each project. Um, and so it's real simple, but you have to have a plan, you have to follow the plan, you have to be organized and do it all in a specific way. I used to use MS Project for certain things, especially when I had big projects where like, hey, we're getting ready to, we need to hire 20 people for this group, let's create a project plan, and we create a project, okay. Research, take me two days, this would take me two days, this would take me six days, this would take me this, so I, can, I think I can get you enough people to fill those 20 positions in this many days. Why would I do that? So that when I go to my hiring manager and he says, I want them now, I'm like, no, here's why, boom. Here's the research that shows where the job bills are, how much they get paid. Boom. Part of doing research is also so that you can go into your hiring manager tell, and tell them, no, I'm sorry, I can't hire you a job developer that else has CISSP and 20 years experience and pay them $20 an hour. Ain't going to happen, which, by the way, it wouldn't happen. you got to be able to show proof to them. Once you've established yourself to where they know, hey, this guy knows his stuff, you don't need to show proof for anything. When I first took over SBU, I had to show proof my first month after that if i told them no this you're not doing that but this is what you can do they'd say okay if you say so and that was the end of it because i established myself as an expert i did i established myself somebody that they could trust so all of this goes together and it's still a project if you think about it research source download scrape whatever sometimes sourcing and that goes together 
enhancing if needed, because sometimes you don't need it, then you're gonna upload to your ATS CRM and contact. I mean, it's a, and the process is the same. It's the project, which is what you're looking for that changes. The process stays the same. Under each project, Java, boom, 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 boom. This, boom, 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 boom. This, boom, boom. If you look at most projects, most projects, like as an example, it's a software project, they have the software as development life cycle. Well, the steps in that are the same, just a matter what, what project you're working on. But the steps are the same. The sub steps in there, like sourcing, that's a step, but where you source will be different. Like I said, I'm not going to source on GitHub for uh, truck drivers. GitHub is tech. So I'm definitely not going there for truck drivers. Don't mean to pick on truck drivers, that's just not where I would go. Um, concurrently speaking, there are other sites I wouldn't search for for uh, techie people. Like, I'm probably not going to search on. Um, just give me a minute. I'm trying to remember the name. Doxomity for programmers and developers. Doxomity is all medical. Be kind of stupid. Yeah. Excuse me. I need a doctor that can program Java as CISSP, and they're going to be like, "Pardon us? What?" Um. So. So it's about project management. It's about those steps that you mentioned. Research. Having, having a plan. Having a plan working quickly, being organized, all those things go together. And if you go on recruiting blogs under my name, you're going to see a whole bunch of blogs that say all of this. 